full complement of players at the end of the match and whether Derry planned to seek a replay. Here's Marty Morrissey. Today's All-Ireland minor football semi-final was historic. Derry and Cork were meeting for the first time at this stage of the competition. It also turned out to be quite controversial. Gavin Donaghy added to Derry's tally of two points before Cork settled. But then this happened. Kieran Murphy gathered the ball, won himself a free, and tried to take the free rather quickly. But for that kick on Sean McKenna from Glenn, the Derry captain, Kieran Murphy saw yellow for the first time. Cork captain James Masters showed his class from corner forward with this magnificent point. Derry now led by two points, eight points to six. At the other end, Derry had a great chance of a goal, but a brilliant save by Kevin Murphy denied them. Kevin McCann opened up the Derry defence only for Brian Scullion to bring forward a magnificent save early in the second half. Jim Kelly tormented Cork all the way through, but then once more, Kieran Murphy saw yellow. Two yellow cards meant normally a red and dismissal, but Kieran Murphy survived. Cork continued to exert tremendous pressure on the Derry defence, and Mark O'Connor produced this wonderful run and a point to guarantee Cork a final place. Derry showed tremendous heart and determination, and Kieran O'Neill, their full forward, won himself for free. And in the dying moments of the game, all he could do was tap it over the bar. Cork won by just one point, 15 points to 14. But what about those two yellow cards shown to Kieran Murphy? Have Derry grounds for objection? What will they do? The controversy seems to be that it, it, there was no question about it. The Cork's number nine, most influential player would have to add, a thorn in Derry's side, definitely got a yellow card in the first half. Uh, a hand chip in the second half, and our number 11, Jim Kelly, free in. Uh, to my way of thinking in the rule book, uh, it's an automatic yellow card as well. Two yellow cards followed by a red card, automatic sending off. He had the most influence, greatest influence on that game in the last seven minutes. It was 15 points to 14, very, very, very close result. Uh, as to what our county board will do about it, I cannot tell you, Marty, for I don't know. Have you spoken to any uh, official from the Derry County Board? Well, obviously, they're keeping their cards close to their chest. They automatically want to see if, um, you know, what the procedure is, and, and they'll be obviously talking to Croke Park authorities here about this incident. Uh, what happens is, is beyond me at the moment. The management feel quite strongly about it. Um, wh what happens is entirely up to the Derry County Board, and I, I imagine there will be a... A uh, uh, county board meeting probably convened tomorrow night. Well, that's an issue we're likely to be hearing more about uh, during the week, especially if that Derry County Board intend to take matters further. Tommy Lyons, should there be a replay? Yes, I think there's no doubt, you know, Cork or Cork, and Frank Murphy is Secretary of Cork, and he's a, he's a big GM, and I think Frank will want fair play out of this, and, you know, it'll fit in very nicely with the replay. We'll need a minor game as a, as a, as a preamble to get us all in early anyhow. But, you know, the referee made a very straightforward mistake, it's a very obvious mistake. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Kieran Murphy was was the key guy for Cork in yes. the last seven or eight minutes. You know, if it was a guy that was stood up in the corner and didn't get his hands yeah. on the ball, you'd say fair enough. But Kieran Murphy was was, sure. was a key influencer. I'd say yes, they're young lads, they're minors. We shouldn't sour young lads. We need every young lad we can come forward to play the game. I'd give them a replay. All right, that's what Tommy Lyon says. Now let's take a check on the results of the day.